So last week at the channel, I put out two videos, one of which was going over some must-have exotic items and weapons in the game, and the other was different talent combinations that I like to use, and in the comments section of both of those videos, the same question kept popping up over and over, and that is, what is my favorite build in the game? What is the go-to build that I use 90% of the time? So my friends, that's exactly what I'm highlighting today, and once again, to be clear, this is something that is not new in the game, but is still one of my favorites. What's up my YouTube family, Greybeard with the Gaming Brigade back with another Division 2 build video and today as I said it's all about showing you one of my favorite builds in the game. Now if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this you could hit that like button as well and we are having a giveaway for a PlayStation 5 but I'll save that to the end. I want to get right into the build itself. So as you can see, I'm using the gunner specialization for a few main reasons. You get that extra armor on kill, you get a reload speed increase, it gives you the ability to use the Banshee pulse if that's what you want to do. In addition to that, you get a rate of fire increase as well. And remember, my friends, regardless of which specialization you choose, have the proper primary and secondary weapons activated in your weapon skill tree. That way you're always getting a 15% weapon damage bonus, regardless of which one you have equipped. Now, one of the main reasons I wanted to put this build together was because in my news videos, this is typically the build you're seeing. I do get a lot of questions about it, so I wanted to make an up-to-date version, even though pretty much everything is exactly the same. So starting with the primary, you can see I'm running with the Scorpio shotgun. It is without a doubt my favorite weapon in the game by far. Now for those of you that may not have it as yet, you can farm for it anywhere the shotgun is the targeted loot. You can hit up the summit or countdown and remember when you play countdown, you do earn countdown resources and with those you can buy exotic caches which can have the Scorpio in it as well. So again it is in the general loot pool. I wish you all nothing but the best of luck. My secondary weapon is the Dark Winter SMG, but really any secondary weapon here is fine. For me and the way I run this build, I'm usually just using the Scorpio, so if you have a different SMG, you can put it in its place, and AR is fine as well. Don't really touch the handgun at all with this build. Now moving on to the gear, you can see I'm using four Hunter's Fury, one Badger Tough, and the Memento Backpack. And for me, ever since this gear set came out, it really changed the way I played this game entirely. I mean, I was never a run and gun style of player, and now that's pretty much all I do because of the gear set, because of the backpack, and because of the shotgun. Now you can see with this talent Apex Predator, enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Moving on to the body armor, it's the one piece of Badger Tough I have equipped so I get that extra shotgun damage bonus because the Scorpio is my primary and I'm using the talent intimidate and with that while you have bonus armor you're going to gain one stack each second up to a max of seven each stack increases weapon damage by five percent to enemies within 10 meters now for those of you that want like a little more of a tank build you know a little more survivability another great option is the zero f's body armor that's going to give you the talent perfectly unbreakable or you could use another piece of badger tough with the talent unbreakable the regular one that's going to work fine as well now moving on to the holster the knee pads and the gloves they are the three remaining pieces of the hunter fury gear set and on all of these pieces of gear i'm trying to stack crit hit chance and crit hit damage everywhere i can and finally we make our way to the bag and this should be no surprise to most of you out there you can see i'm using the memento because it is still by far the best in slot for a run and gun build because of the talent kill confirmed and the fact that you're picking up trophies which is going to give you a bonus to your weapon damage bonus armor and skill efficiency as well now if you do not have this as yet i recommend using another piece of badger tough with the talent adrenaline rush because that's going to give you bonus armor when you're close to NPCs as well. And remember, with the talent on your chest, it's very important you obviously have that bonus armor running. Now, as I start to wrap this thing up, one thing I want to make sure I mention, and this is really for new and returning players, is that it may take you a while to get certain pieces of gear you see in this build. Let's say you're trying to get the Scorpio, the Memento, you haven't been able to get it as yet. But I can promise you, these are definitely two items in the game that are worth the grind, so keep at it, agents. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, Back, please let me know and I will get back to you as quick as I can. 
Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, and most of you know this, but we are having a giveaway at the channel for a PlayStation 5 to enter. All you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter, and the winner will be announced May 4th of this year. On that note, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage, but as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well, but most importantly, Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. to a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into.
panic size have pulled upstairs. You can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those borders loaded with PC-62. to keep them from getting more of those mortars. Campus is taking position inside the memorial. 